Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me for yet another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? It is your host Cody here. Pulling up my laptop, pulling up the stream on here. How is everyone doing? Thank you one and all again for joining. I'll turn my volume off so I don't hear a delay of my voice five seconds after I speak. Just want a truck race on Roblox. Many awesome. Alright, try to get all my shout outs in for everyone that's joined so far. See Austin, the plant, uh, Bonnie Gaming, Hamlin Fan F Fanatic, Let's Play, Mandy. Sorry, my laptop screen's really small. I have to lean in to see it. I want to pronounce this guy's name right. Emil Lorite just subbed. Awesome, thank you very much, dude. Or lady, whichever. I'm just assuming it's guys watching these videos. Larson Fan, Hayden King, Dale, Mandy, Diddy Kong, Typical Gamer. The Brian Buster Webb, if I pronounce that correct. Matt, I've never known how to pronounce that guy's last name. Dibididado, Nato, Ditto. Alright, so, now that I got all my shoutouts out of the way... Let's jump right into the stream. Thanks again, guys, for joining. I know I keep repeating that, but at any given time, there could be new people joining in to watch. Thanks, anyone that's watching this after it's live. Uh, once it's done being live, once the ratings are enabled, be uh, sure to go ahead and smack that like button. And if there's anyone that hasn't checked out my channel in the last couple of days, be sure to go check out my last couple reenactment videos. The 2011 U.S. Cellular 250 finish. For some reason, that one's getting a lot of criticism. I know it's not perfect, but... Eh. Can't please everyone, and then the one I posted this morning, or this afternoon, the Kenseth vs. Logano famous incident at Martinsville. So be sure to go check those out when you guys have a... chance. Alright, Ryan Fitzy just joined. Alright. So here is Rusty Wallace's 1993 car. And, that being said, let's go check out his 1993 Talladega Wreck. Alright, gonna switch over. TNT Man 93, the unofficial one is here. Streamception, alright. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen this video in question, but here it is in case you haven't. Come to the lead, how many cars does that look like? About 20, 22, 25? Yeah, he can spun out when he's about third, fourth place. Finishes the race airborne, kind of digs in with the left side of his roof, and then does a bunch of tumbles and end over ends and barrel rolls. Do you take requests for reenactments? I do. It's it's hard to keep up with them and to keep track of all of them and keep pace with all of them, but your guys' suggestions help me give get some inspiration for future ones. All right, so that is the wreck. Let's see another replay. He is. Earnhardt right up on the back bumper of Rusty, and he does touch him. That's and why. Around it goes. And that's one reason that Dale Yeah, that's the key there. part that's of this wreck, so besides all the flips, is Wallace to kind of have that blow over where he gets airborne and starts to kind of turn six or seven times, on his side and then have his roof begin. End over end, side over side, comes to a rest on its wheels. All right, so that is the wreck. I think until I can find a better version, I'm just going to be doing a 70s, 80s Talladega for now. I know there's a 90s version, but the infield doesn't look quite right, and it's kind of... It's a little harder to get airborne in that version for some reason. Alright, so I have his 93 car. I already showed that. 20 people watching. Awesome. Thank you, everyone, for joining today. Lucas just joined. Alright, so... I'm going to jump right in. Uh, if you guys aren't too picky, I'm not going to go through the replay and pick out each individual uh, car that's in that pack. I'm just going to... Just 
just spawn like 25 cars or so and just take who's ever in that pack. I'm assuming some of the better racers are going to be in it anyway. 93, I don't know, let's see. I was doing some tests with the 93 version. It wasn't, I wasn't able to get airborne that easily, but we'll try. And then I might uh, up Dale Earnhardt's and uh, Ernie Irvin's ratings if they aren't already just to, just to see uh, if they're towards the front at all. Expert Thug 20 just joined, thanks. That guy, trying to shout out everyone new, like your videos, do, do, do. favorite channel, awesome, thank you, man. Riyad Mohammed, thank you for joining. Alright, so. Actually, I'm going to do a few uh, laps in practice, I just want to see what this track Drivers looks like. This version of Daga. And that's right, I tried turning the temperature down before to get airborne easier, but it still wasn't even working. I don't want to turn the restrictor plates off. Alright, so that does have grass in the infield. But I wasn't able to get that airborne in some tests. I'll try this one. NDGCS. Thank you for joining. 25 people watching. I'm gonna slow down and let these guys catch up. I have no idea how I'd re reenact that Austin Dillon crash. No idea. Alright, Terry Labonte, let's see if we can get me airborne. Just as a test. I know I'll be going faster in the pack after a lap, but I'm just trying to do some tests and practice with this version of... Oh. Darn it. Oh, I'm just going to go right into race mode. I know I'll be going faster then, so I'll try then. Alright. Let's see where everyone's. Dale Earnhardt in last. And that happened how? Oh wait, no. Ernie Irvin, Dale Earnhardt. Alright, they're up towards the front. Alright, cool. Drivers, start your engines! Sorry guys, when I get silent for a second, I'm trying to... Whenever I go silent, I'm just reading all your guys' comments on my laptop. Kurt Bush's flip. That's another popular suggestion I've gotten. Mohammed. Jeff Fuller crash. I haven't tried to do his 2006 one, but I tried to do his Dover crash he had way back when. I believe it was 2000 where he kind of broke the wall. That. Nick Productions. I see people are trying to post these re videos on Reddit. That is awesome. If you guys want to keep trying to do that, I have no idea why they're getting taken down. Yeah, if you want to keep doing that, be my guest. I'm all for free publicity. I'm not going to wait all 10 laps to have the uh, checkered flag waving. Yeah, I'm not going to wait that long each, every attempt. Oops. Whoa, whoa. A little loose on the banking, on the apron. Alright, 182, 185. Alright, I'm going for around 195 or so by the time we get to the trial. Bowl. Except I'm getting past too much. Look at that, four wide for the lead. I might do this at a uh, Dega 70s, 80s, because I might have to turn the difficulty down. Because they're passing me like nothing. Alright, try spinning off of this dude. 
Come on. Damn it. Okay, we're under caution. Catch up to the end of the pacing line. Pass the eight car. Pass the eight car. All right, I'm gonna turn the difficulty down so they're not passing me. I have no idea what was that. Does anyone know if it was cloudy? I believe so. I can't, although a lot of those videos, I can't tell if it's cloudy or if it just looks grainy from how old the footage is. Twenty-eight people watching. Increase uh, grass grip. He just needs to get airborne, and uh, I've done it plenty of times. It's just a matter of being able to do it on command. And at this track. Yeah, you just need to get airborne enough to where you start kind of tipping on your side and then having that coming down on the left side of the roof. The rough. As Benny Parsons would call it. Whole life thief. I've gotten that suggestion as well. Swag TV. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. God damn it! And that's what happens when you turn down the track temperature. Adam is here. Bonnie Gaming. I don't know if I got you already. I'm going to try one more at this, and then I'm going over to Talladega 70s, 80s. I know it's not quite the right era of the track, but the infield doesn't look too much different. I don't know, I just... I feel like that's the track that's the easiest to get airborne on. No matter what I do, I don't want to take the roof, or the restrictor plates off. KT King Pocono crash. There's another good one. Although I know if I do that, I'd get Kane airborne the right way, and then I'd get a bunch of complaints and criticism because all other 20 AI cars weren't wrecking exactly perfectly. But I could try. Kyle Larson 2013. That's a popular one. I have no idea how I'd do that, though, because it was not him that started that wreck. Spin out this time. If I can get uh, Ernie Irvin to be in the lead and Dale Earnhardt to be spinning me out, that would be amazing. Those are the only two bonuses for the AI I'm going to try to do. Alright, I see Earnhardt on the inside line down there. Except he's not going to. I don't see Ernie Irvin anywhere. Oh, wait, Ernie Irvin's in the number 28 for some reason. Weird. Alright, I'm still gonna try to get uh, Earnhardt to spin me out. Yes, I know Ernie Irvin, or the number four, isn't leading right now, but I have to take what I can get. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I feel like that wall is way too close on the inside, too. Or it could just be me. can send you a track I and I for the reenactment for which track I'm uh, yeah I'm up for suggestions but yeah I'm having an uh, issue is getting airborne in this one without oh wait Ernie Irvin is in the four why is there two Ernie Irvins <laughs> can someone explain that to me all right yeah I'm switching to Dega 70s 80s for now I feel like I can have better luck also, yeah, I believe it was cloudy. Matt Kenza, 2016 Talladega. I already did that one. 
Why does it keep freezing? Alright. It's fine for you. I have zero drop frames and the stream's coming in fine for me, so hopefully I don't have any more issues. Alright. 70s, 80s. Do, do, do. Realistic, realistic. Alright, so I'm gonna just be working with this track for now just for the sake of trying to get this reenactment. Because I feel like I have about a lot better luck in this version than I do on the other ones. Drivers, start your Gotta go. Engine. See you guys later. Thanks for joining, Mandy. King. Yeah, I guess I'll go by King from now on. When you say send me a track I and I, how do you know the exact spe specifications for a like perfect wreck? I'm not saying you're wrong or the track I and I is off. I'm just saying how do you know? And yeah, if you want to send me, I'd love to try it, but I have no idea how I'd be able to do that one. So I'd have to have the other cars wrecking first on command. God damn it! In the triable. It is or isn't freezing anymore. Change the drafting and bunch bunching distance around. Yeah, I know how to do that. But you still have to be able to have them wreck. If you're going to have the AI start the wreck, you still have to have them wreck on command in the exact right spot and get clipped where it doesn't look too obvious you're spinning yourself out to the point where you get airborne and look into the fence. That would be a hard one. Alright, so... What is this? And we'll be doing this for this reenactment, Talladega 70s, 80s. Although I do want to go back out after maybe a few failed attempts and up Ernie Irvin's rating. The right Irvin Irvin. Here, now Davey Allison is number 28 in this one. Yeah, that was weird. Two Ernie Irvins. Oh, there's already a wreck I saw back there. Where's Earnhardt? Although Earnhardt isn't anywhere in sight, nor is Irvin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna up both of their ratings after for after a few attempts. And now they're like all just wrecking each other. Come on, bastard! Alright, that was fail. They all just wrecked each other right away. Jimmy Johnson Watkins Glen wreck. Damien's, you should uh, check out my playlist for all my reenactments. You suggested like two or three ones that I've done already now. Ken Schrader 1995 flip. I've actually tried that one before. I didn't get it though. And thanks uh, anyone new that might have joined the stream within the last 10-15 minutes or so since I started. Thank you one and all for joining. I really appreciate the support and the feedback. I know I have the ratings disabled for the live streams but uh, once they're done being live if you want to go ahead and smack the like button show your support there. I really really appreciate it. All right, let's see if they can make it around without wrecking a lap. Nope. Nope. God damn it. What the hell is going on? See, this is what happens when you mess with the track bunching and drifting distance. Dude, go when the cars go dummy. Or I could just uh, ignore your guys' comments and not interact with you guys at all. And just stay staring straight ahead at my monitor. I could do that. I'm trying to interact with you guys. Oh, Darian, sorry. 
Just like I said, my laptop screen is really, really small, and I thought those two R's were an M. Mark Laudenbach, hope I pronounce that right. I'm back, did he do it? No, I did not. Alright, I think after this, I'm gonna tweak the track I and I for this just a little bit so they're not wrecking as much and so Ernie Urban is in first and Dale Earnhardt as well. God damn it! I don't even know what happened there, I just turned right. Alright, I'm going out. Looks like you passed. Did it freeze? Didn't freeze on my end. Alright. I'm going to switch you guys over here. Video. Alright. Here's my files. Papyrus. Tracks. Alright, down to Talladega 7080. Track. Alright. This can all stay the same. Turn this down a little bit so it's not quite as bad. Alright, bunching distance. A bunching distance. 2.2. Drafting distance. 1.8. Sure, why not? Panic decel. I'll turn that back up a little bit. Yeah, this is my version of 70s, 80s that I use for Rex a lot. Alright, let's see if that makes a difference. Exit out of that. And then restart the game. Switch you guys back over. Sorry guys, I know this is boring. Literally right as I'm just switching the settings around like a bunch of people leave. Now, if there's anyone new that might have subscribed re in the recent future, thank you so much for doing so. If you guys want to go check out my reenactments playlist so you guys can get all caught up with which ones I have and haven't done yet. Alright. Ratings, opponent manager. I'm going to bump up Ernie Irvin. 2000. or not 2000, 1993. 1993 season. Get rid of this guy. Actually, you know what? Should I? No, I'm not gonna. I was gonna go through and see who is all where. Why are there a bunch of of the same cars? Alright, ratings. Turn him up. Super Speedway. Okay, same thing with Earnhardt. Yes. Alright. Actually, no, he needs to be, like, in third or fourth place. Okay. Save. Alright, let's see if that makes a difference. Sorry, guys, I know this is boring. Alright. Except I want it to be cloudy in the race, so I'm just going to restart the session. Chat froze. I know. Give me a second. God damn it. Alright, chat should be unfrozen, and I really want a cloudy race session. But still keeping the weather unrealistic. God damn it. There we go. Alright, let's see if Ernie. Alright, I see Earnhardt. Alright, Irvin's like in the top eight. Elliot Sadler reenactment, which one? Oh, 
Oh sweet, now the actual Ernie is way back. What the hell is going on? Too many Ernie Urbans in this car set. Alright, maybe on a future stream. If I can't get the rack right here, maybe on a future stream I'll get all the right cars in order and adjust their ratings accordingly to how they are positioned in real life. 2003? I actually did that one. It was like one of my first reenactments ever. Like six years ago, if you guys want to look that one up. I do want to do a redo of that though. Because even though the wreck itself was almost perfect, he wasn't in a pack at all, I was in practice, and it was no camera control master, and it was really old. And the quality wasn't as good. So yeah, I might want to redo his 2003 flip. Alright. So a few cars pass me. I feel like Rusty passed me. Whoa. God damn it. Hit the inside oh. Alright, so at least he started to blow over the right way during that test. Now he just I just need to not screw up the damn attempt. Drivers, start your engines. I made it to the stream. Indeed you did make a Pokemon fan. Can you do the Chris Cockrum wreck? If someone can find I was wanting to do that, but if someone can find me a version of a new version of Talladega, like 2015 or newer, that has those walls budding out on the inside wall, the Safer Barry, the, old, the newest one I could find was the action-packed tracks version of Talladega 15, but that one does not work on my computer for some reason. Alright, so I saw that I can flip right, for the most part. I just need to not screw up the damn attempt. Although I think I did this time because I started too late. Green flag, green flag. Green, green, green. And yep, that's exactly what I did. Except maybe I can still make it through. Oh damn it, I cannot drive. Try to power up towards the front. Salvage this attempt. Nope. Not gonna happen. Or maybe. Maybe. Maybe I can be in the top 10 or so by the time I spin out. There we go. Alright. Should I try for the next lap? Yeah, I'll just do the next lap. Four people watching. Welcome, one and all. Thank you for joining the stream. Oh, oh, oh! Stupid number twelve. We are four wide. I'm just gonna do my hardest to try not to wreck. And I'm clear of four wide, and it's only three wide now. All right, here we go. Is he going to win the Winston 500? I forgot exactly how that commentary goes, but you guys, I'm sure, knew what I was referencing. Alright, here we go. Darn it. Didn't flip over the right way. Didn't flip over the right way. Still promising, though. So yeah, far from perfect, but still a promising f first try. He just needs to flip over a little better. Alright, next. Drivers, start your engines. I want this game really badly, just save a couple paychecks or a couple birthday cards or birthday money from the cards or save up some allowances. It'll be the best investment you ever make. T 
TNN Sports. Still trying to get all my shoutouts and the people I haven't, uh... I forgot, that's why I keep, uh... That's what's throwing me off, I forgot I turned this pace lap speed up, like, to 160. <coughs> we should just do a full race. I... I do do a stream every now and then of, uh, just me doing racing gameplay. Those ones don't seem to be nearly as popular, though. I, surprisingly, no one just wants to sit there and watch me doing a race and suck at driving the entire time. People like it when I'm purposely trying to crash, from what I can tell. Alright, I really wish Ernie Irvin was towards the front of the pack. The real Ur Ernie Irvin. If you're the real Ernie Irvin, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. What are the requirements to flip? Uh, for the details, I'm not really uh, expecting too much of the AI for this one, because they're not staying in the same spot at all during qualifying and whatnot. But, uh, need to get airborne, basically going over the start-finish line, kind of do a digging in blow over to where I get airborne, start to turn on my side, and then dig in with my driver's side roof, and tumble maybe nine, ten times while doing barrel rolls and end over ends, but aside from that, not too many requirements. Oh. Let's see if this is it. Oh! Oh, he started to blow over the right way. He just didn't get spun around quite enough. He started to blow over the right way. Right. He gets spun out. And he starts to twist. He just needed to twist a little bit more and have that driver's side roof dig in. Drivers, start your engines! Dale Sr. flip at Pocono. Two back-to-pack -back promising runs. Now let's see if I can get it here. start the session just to see if Ernie Irvin will qualify up front on the second time around. Can Trader flip at Pocono? That one, I might have to turn the grip up or something for that one. I have no idea what settings you'd do for that one. Unless you just back it in hard enough to the wall where you can just turn over with the default track I and I settings. Alright. I know Earnhardt wasn't in the first in the real race, but I'm just working with what I can get uh, run after run. Alright. Come on, number seven. Whoa. That was a weird blow over. And into the wall hard. I don't think I've seen a blow over like that in a while. Yeah, because he got like, oh, he got like t bone just ever so slightly while he was getting spun out by the car that was spinning him out. Elliot Sadler's hard hit at Pocono. I've tried doing research for that, but I'm unable to find a track that has similar armco slash like dirt walls on the inside. It's all just kind of a straight guardrail. So I have yeah. How I do that? Richard Petty, Lee Petter, Lee Petty. 
It wasn't Richard and Lee Petty, it was Lee Petty and someone else. I forgot flying over the guardrail. But, uh, if I don't see your suggestion first time around, I uh, don't need to repost them a bunch of times. I still see them when I watch the stream back and look for the suggestions. So I apologize if I don't see your guys' suggestions right away, but please don't spam the same suggestion a million times. Yes, I know I'm exaggerating saying a million. I could have said 100 million and put my pinky up next to my mouth. Any Austin Powers fans here? Or is that before your guys' generation? Alright. The I cannot get like T-boned when I'm spinning out this time. Hopefully I can get airborne the right way. Hopefully. I'll oh, speak another Rusty Wallace number twenty. Oh wait, no, that's not Rusty Wallace, it's Ken Trader. Whoa, he got too high there. He almost has a little damage. He doesn't have that much damage, except now he does. That'd be an interesting uh, onboard shot. That'd be a really interesting onboard shot. That almost remind, reminded me of the Clint, uh, or the Clint Boyer barrel roll. There we go. On board. Landed back on his wheels. Almost kept it going. Drivers, Why make trillions when we can make engines. billions? Alright, good. There is uh, some Austin Powers fans in the house. Or at least one. At least, at least someone got my reference. How long have I been watching NASCAR? Basically, since I could walk or talk. There's been phases where I've been more into it than not. It's never that I uh, stopped liking NASCAR. I just get uh, just gotten busy with my adult life during certain periods. But now I'm at a point in my YouTube career where basically all I'm doing when I'm not working or trying to establish my pathetic excuse for a social life is uh, doing this in these streams and videos for you guys. Speaking of social life, I just got a text. It's probably from my mommy. Alright, Earnhardt, get behind me. Except he's going to be in the outside line, so I don't know if getting behind... Him getting behind me is going to actually work. And yeah, he's not going to get to the inside line. Although maybe, if he's close enough to me, it'll still help for the replay. And all the details and whatnot. Looks like it's gonna be Mark Martin. Nope, nope. Alright, I couldn't get to the inside line. I'm gonna wait till the next lap. Let me get to the inside line. There we go. It's like on the freeway when you're trying to get into the left lane, the fast lane, and the person isn't like barely going the speed limit at all. Whoa. He almost got loose coming out of that corner. First time watching the streams, getting yourself a sub. Awesome, thank you very much, man. Really awesome, Earnhardt's behind me too. Aw, oh, darn it, except he's not on the inside line. And Irvin still isn't leading. That would be the ultimate bonus for the details of this one. Alright, come on. Martin, you're my man. Mark Martin. Come on, let's do this. Darn it, he flipped over too much. The yellow flag is out. There's too much, too much. On the track. and he didn't blow over the right way. A little bit similar ending, but the start of it wasn't right. Gall darn it. Mark Martin, holy crap, did you see Mark Martin smash the inside wall? It's not the first time he's done that at Talladega, but I think this time was a little bit harder. Boom. Dead stop.
Will I include Rusty's Daytona flip in this video or a separate video? Probably a separate one. I didn't even think about doing that one. Grumples. How's it going? The real infamous. Do, 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 do. Mark Martins, that's one. I'd have to. Yeah, I'd have to bump up the drafting and bunch, bunching distance so the AI would wreck, but. Yeah, I could try that one. There's no breakable walls, that's true, but I'm sure if I do enough research, I could find a version of Talladega that has a similar infield walls like that. I'm pretty sure the 93 one I was just at, or 97, had similar infield walls. Alright. I actually have a good feeling about this one. After this reenactment, or th this attempt, I'm just going to restart the session just to see if I'll, Ernie Irvin will qualify in the front. Just to try to switch up the qualifying order a little bit since it's not too accurate to how the real life one was at the moment. And I'm gonna get rid of just a couple of other cars because I don't think there are quite this many cars in that final pack. Looks like there are maybe 22 to 25 or something. I think I have like 30 right now. All right, number seven, I guess you're gonna be my dude. Clip too early. And he somehow didn't flip over after all that. Alright, I'm gonna just ret retry starting the session just to see if the qualifying order is differently. Don't go anywhere, you guys. I'm not ending. Alright, sweet. It's still cloudy for the most part. And Ernie Irvin is still. Stay behind the 71 car on the outside line. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Opponent. All right, get rid of all these number sevens. Don't need that many number sevens. I'm gonna get rid of some extra cars right here. Do 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 do. Don't need five number seventy fives. Don't need two Davy Allisons. Uh, don't need three number nines. Mark Martin. Sorry guys, I know this is boring. Like speed. Alright, save as Rusty Dega Flip. Alright, now hopefully the qualifying order should be a little bit better. Alright, sorry, I know that was boring. Alright, jump back into the session. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Go back, go back. Forgot to switch it over. Darn, it's gonna be all the way at the bottom. Rusty, there we go. Rusty Dega Flip. All right. Cody won a dirt race. That's awesome, man. Do you have any footage of these races? I'd love to see them. I'm always... I've fucking wanted to be in a racing, obviously, my entire life, so I'm jealous whenever other people are. Drivers. All right, Dale Earnhardt and Ernie Irvin, first and second. Look at that. Hopefully it stays that way. Perfect qualifying order. Alright, so this will work perfect if I can start in the inside line, kind of block Dale Earnhardt from getting a jumping start, let like four or five cars in the outside line pass with Ernie Irvin in the lead, then Dale Sr. will still be in the bottom line for him to spin me out and Ernie Irvin will be leading at the time of me spinning out. This will be perfect if they can keep this order for the most part the same after one lap.
thank you anyone that might be just joining the stream or just have recently joined. Thank you so much for taking time out of your evening to be here at the live stream community. Why is the outside line slamming on their brakes? I'm like braking to have them get ahead of me and they're not passing me. There we go. I think I need to turn the panic decel back down a little bit. Alright, this is going to be perfect. Oh, darn it, except Ernie Irvin's getting the lead taken away from him right now. Still, close enough. He's towards the front, and I have Earnhardt right behind me. Hopefully with each attempt, it'll get closer. Alright. Darn it. You gotta come in for this black flag. It's probably the closest one I've gotten yet, but it's... Doesn't cut it. Junior Nationwide Crash from Daytona 2012. Did that one already? Like always, once I get just a fairly close one, I'm just going to save it. Just in case I can't get a closer one, but I know that's not going to be my final one. Alright. Rusty, Daga, 1993, attempt one. Alright, next. I gotta go. Thanks for joining, man. Clover the Cat. How is it going? Thanks for joining the stream. Can't wait till I go to the cup race Sunday. Awesome. Where are they racing at? How old do you think I am, Cody? Diddy Kong 13. Well, the obvious guess would be to say 13, but God knows how long it's been since he made this account. My account name was originally Sabbath Base Dude 14, because I made that account when I was 14, and I'm now 24. By the way, I'm thinking about having a name change for my account sometime in the near future. I'll make a separate video taking suggestions, but that's something I may want to do in the near future, is either just switch it to my regular full name, or get some other account name. Okay, these cars in the outside line can get going, there you go. I need to turn the panic deceleration back down. Because they're like braking too hard when I'm like trying to let them pass me. Alright, Ernie Irvin's in second. Dale Earnhardt's right behind me. Close enough for this to run. Yeah, except Earnhardt just screwed that up. Earnhardt just screwed that up completely. Damn it, Dale. Who's my favorite driver? Dale Jr., obviously. I don't think you never answered the question, Diddy Kong. Lots of suggestions. Lots of ones I haven't gotten. Alright, let's see if Ernie Irvin will actually stay out front this time. Let's see if any of these other cars will pass. There we go. Perfect. 
If Ernie Irvin can stay out front, this is a perfect AI layout. Except it looks like they're going to pass him again. I might have to turn his aggressive up. Okay, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm getting a million texts right now. Jesus fucking Christ. They're not stopping. Alright, since Dale's in the outside line, it looks like I'm going to be doing this from right here. Ken Schrader. Oh, darn it. He almost tumbled the right way. Ken Schrader's car got in the way. And darn it. Yeah, if you watch closely, he starts to flip the right way. Right there, and he's about to come down and turn around and start tumbling, but that 25 car is in the way. Darn it. Drivers, stop your engines! Rusty, summon the power, summon the spirit of all your rollovers you've had throughout the years, and help me out this time. Oh, I'm not gonna give up. There's just uh, there's gonna come a certain time where I just need to go because I do work tonight. Can't stream all night, so hopefully I can get it before that happens. Talking for a second, guys. I was just reading the comments and concentrating on this. So once again, just a reminder. Thank you, anyone, for uh, watching this stream right now. Once it's done streaming, go ahead and if you didn't catch all of it, go ahead and watch it afterwards and catch up on the parts you missed. And also smack the like button then, because I will have the ratings enabled then. You don't have to, but if you'd like to, that'd be awesome. All right. Oh. You gotta come in for this black flag. Not even close. Drivers, stop your engines. Do you like Chipotle? Honestly, I've only ever been to Chipotle once. It was all right. I just thought it was a slightly cheaper Qdoba. Qdoba, where I live, is slightly more uh, popular than Chipotle's are. I think Chipotle is more of like a west and east coast thing. I like the random questions I get. Clover the cat, there's your one more shout out. Just keep up the support. And I will give you shout outs whenever you want, within reason. Block. Block him. Oh, darn it. Why will that number four car not stay out front even though all his ratings are like maxed out for the most part? Although, no, never mind, they're not maxed out. They were high, but they're not maxed out. Oh. 
God darn it. That was a little bit worse. Okay, we're under caution. Stay behind the 15 car. Pass the 16 car. Ah. <sighs> Oh my goodness, I get it. I've gotten like 20 texts in the last five minutes from the same person. And if that person is watching, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Drivers, stop your engines! Oh. Someone watching one of my old urban exploration videos thinking they were hearing a ghost and then it ended up being my camera focusing. That's what they said. That's what the 20 urgent messages were about. If that person is watching right now, I will text you back when I am done with the stream and yes, we should catch back up soon. I am working the next six nights in a row though. So it'll be difficult within the next week. Alright, come on, Ernie, pass. I'm just gonna let him stay where he is and then let him pass in the last like, corner so no one else passes him. That's the way to do it. Let him stay side by side here and then kind of slow down in the corner so he and all the other, a few other cars in the outside line can pass, but no one passes him. Alright. Please stay out in front, number four. Please stay out in front, number four. Perfect AI lineup. Oh, darn it. He almost flipped over the right way. That would have been perfect. He started to flip over the right way. That would have been absolutely perfect. Look at this. Ernie Irvin in first. Dale Earnhardt right behind me, spinning me out. Right spot. He was about to spin sideways. Oh, Dale clipped me. That's what screwed it up. He spun me around more. Right there, he was going to start turning and digging in, but Dale hit me and spun me around to do that. Darn it! That was almost perfect. Drivers, stop your engines! When the stream is over, I have to shower and then run right to work, but if I have a chance, Clover the Cat will try to check out your video. I'm not rage quitting. I'm still going. Although I do have to go within 10, 15 minutes or so because I work in less than two hours. But no, I'm definitely not rage quitting. That was frustrating though. That was almost perfect. Although I feel like I'm getting the hang of it now. I can do this for future uh, reenactments of the same uh, wreck if I don't get it this time. Because as long as I have Dale in the inside line and Ernie in the outside line in first, that works perfect. Because now I notice to keep Ernie side by side next to me until that last turn and then let him and a few other cars pass me. That's the perfect way to get the right AI layout. Because God knows if I don't have every single other car exactly perfect, I'm going to get nothing but dislikes and complaints from everyone. Like I did for that damn US Cellular 250 finish. And criticisms like the engine didn't blow up and it wasn't smoking whatnot. Completely disregarding that it's almost impossible to do that on command in this game. Why are we talking about a food tasting channel? I have no idea how that got brought up. Alright. As long as Ernie stays in first. Staying first, Ernie. Spin me out, Dale. Come on. You gotta come in for this black flag. The yellow flag is right. out. There's too much debris on the track. Getting closer though. I 
I've gotten that blow over tons of times. Just right there. Instead of like continuing over, he needs to kind of tip over. Just got absolutely drilled in the cockpit by that 12 car. Bobby Allison. I'm assuming someone has a uh, is using either voice to text or autocorrect. Consider Bobby Allison came out as all is on. Alright. Now that I'm getting the hang of the AI layout, I almost don't wanna give this up. Well at least I have the opponent manager saved. For next time. That's going to be a goal of mine, getting all four of Rusty's flips that I know of. That Bristol one during practice, and then I believe 83 Daytona on the backstretch, and then 93 Daytona on the backstretch, and then this one. Green flag, green flag. Green, green, green. 21 viewers. Yeah, I know it's gone down. It usually goes down as the stream has been going on. Again, I'm like slamming on the brakes and the cars in the outside line. I didn't think I turned their panic deceleration up that much. It's where they're like hitting the brakes even if they're like not behind me when I slow down. Side line doesn't slam on the brakes when I'm trying to get them to pass me. Alright, so at least I have this opponent manager set up for the next time I'm going to try this if at the very worst I don't get it this time. As long as Dale stays on the inside line and no one passes Ernie, this is perfect. Stay back there, number 14. I'm going to save that replay, but definitely wasn't perfect. You can't clear a black flag on a restart. You blew the engine. Alright, replay. The AI layout was perfect. That's the only reason I'm going to save this. Ernie Irvin was in first. Dale spins me out. He went a little too far to the inside of the track. He's supposed to stay near the pavement. So this is probably the best one so far. At least a mix between the AI layout and how the flip was. But yeah, definitely not 
definitely not worth being the final video. Alright, Rusty Dega attempt number two. Sorry, I need to revisit his 83 one as well because I don't think I ever got that. Bye, Adam. Thanks for joining. Alright, for any new people joining, thank you so much for taking time out of your night to watch a stream. Uh, go ahead and smack that like button, especially once the... Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, don't do that now once the ratings are enabled after the stream's gone live, or it's done being live. Go ahead and smack that like button. I saw a few new subscribers in the comments. This is going to be my third to last attempt. Who knows, maybe I'll get it perfect one of these. Whoa. Alright. I think I have the method down. Well, I've said that already. I've got the method down of how to have all the other car cars be in the right layout. At least with this qualifying. God damn it. Except Junior let someone else get on the out or not Junior. Senior let someone get on the outside of him. So now Senior's up in the top line. Darn it. Right, I'm still gonna try this. This time around. Which I'll be pissed if I get it perfect. If it's not Senior the one spinning me out. Next. Drivers, stop your engines. I just saw a hashtag go over the wall like a million times. Next stream, I'll try. I'm trying to get this mission accomplished before I have to get going to work. Maybe I'll try a Rick Mast flip reenactment. Then I can try to go over the wall and try to be in accomplishing some sort of goal at the same time. Alright, second to last attempt. Thank you once again, everyone, for joining the stream tonight. Make sure you go check out uh, my last few uploads I did, my last few reenactments if you haven't seen them already. So go ahead and smack the like button if you enjoyed the videos. Oh, darn it. I didn't get enough of a start, and now Senior's ahead of me. Well, my last attempt will be perfect. The AI layout, that is. Come on, Ernie, dive to the inside. Oh, you idiot. Had a chance to pass Earnhardt so we could have salvaged this run. That was interesting. Alright, I'm still gonna try it. Even though Senior's in first and not Irvin. Oh my goodness! That could not have been closer, although I'm kind of glad I didn't do it there since it wasn't Senior spinning me out and the AI layout wasn't right. But that was almost a perfect blowover. Right at this point, he should be digging in. Nine times out of ten, right there, he digs in and starts to tumble. I'm kind of glad I didn't get it there, though, because that would have really upset me if I got it perfect and it wasn't the right AI layout. All right. All right, this will be my last attempt. You know what? After this last attempt, I'll do one where I go the wrong way and smash into the pack, and I'll see if I go over the wall there. 
Will you guys stick around? Will that make you happy? If I go the wrong way once and see if I can get over the wall that way. After this last final attempt. Don't be upset, guys. I've been streaming for well over an hour. I have things to do. But thank you so much for joining the stream tonight. I really do appreciate it. Alright, so this is the last serious attempt, and then I'll go wrong the wrong way once. Seniors stay on the outside. Or inside, I should say. Ernie, kind of stick back there until the final corner, and then you can pass me. But damn it, except Senior is in the top line now. I can get in front of him right here. Nope. I'll still be right next to him. Alright. So he'll still be near me while I'm spinning out. Nope. Another really tall blowover. So I'm pretty sure that passed 10 barrel rolls right there. So, at least for next time, I have the all the AI settings correct. Alright, there he ended. That's about the spot where he should be ending the flip. Alright. When I stream, it's most days. It's not every single day, but it's most days I try to stream. And usually in the early afternoon. Sometimes if I do a second one, it'll be late at night. Sorry guys, I now I'm going the wrong way. And I'm just up in all the cars, so there's lots of carnage for when I go the wrong way. Have them all good going as fast as possible. I'm not gonna splash people with puddles. As funny as that would be, I'm not gonna do that. So, we are going. I'm gonna do it on the back stretch. Because between them flying over the outside wall and them hitting that inside banking, the maximum potential for destruction is on the back stretch, in my opinion. Yeah, go up here so I can get a little bit of a running start into them. Green flag, green flag. Green, green, green. Green, ring, ring. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. Yeah, well, good luck getting me off the track before I do my damage. And... The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race there we go. Oh, no one went over the wall. Well, that's right, they didn't wreck quite as bad since their panic deceleration was turned down, but still, that was satisfying enough. That one guy lost his engine anyway. Alright, so, that is it for today's stream. Thank you so much for you guys, everyone, uh who joined the stream tonight. Thank you anyone that's watching this afterwards. Thank you so much for your continued support. Uh, until next time, I should be streaming tomorrow uh, once if not twice. Stay tuned for those. And uh, once again, I can't thank you guys enough for all the support. I've 
seen a huge spike in subscribers, my watch time, views, all that jazz the last couple weeks or so. Isn't possible without you guys, so thank you so much. Keep on, keep that support up, and I will keep the videos and the streams up. Thank you so much for everything. I will see you guys later. Have a good rest of your night. Peace.